Okay guys, I wanted to film another angel tree bag. This one is for a 12 year old boy. We're going to call him Little L. He wanted air buds, Bluetooth, a basketball, and a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, just to give it away, I wasn't, I didn't have the speaker or the air buds. Um, I had a soccer ball, so I thought that was close enough to a basketball. And as you can see, sticking out of his bag, he's also getting a hover bowling set. But like, so there's different games from this company, and they're like all the same. There's like hover soccer, and it's like the same like shape disc thing. Um, so it's pretty, to me, it's like pretty much like soccer. You can kick the thing over and hit the bowling pins. Okay, let's take a look at what this kid's getting. As I already showed you, he's getting a hover bowling set. It was on sale for $10, as you can see. I can see the original price was $19.88. And I believe these go on sale for around $15 a lot. So then I got another $5 off. He's getting a vest. This was on sale for $5 after last winter. Um, it's, a, it's a little big, but, you know, he's 12 and, you know, he might grow soon. So he can just grow along with it. He's also getting a t-shirt. I got this for $2 at Walmart. I got a bunch of them on clearance. Some for Angel Tree Kids, for some for OCC boxes. That's Operation Christmas Child. Um, just, you know, a nice t-shirt. I, I like the graphic on it. Feels nice. Down here we have some Transformers figure that I can see was supposed to be $9.97, but I got it on sale for three. Um, the tennis balls are because when I was around this age, me and my friends used to like to play wall ball, and we would use tennis balls. I know there's some kind of like official kind of ball you can use, but I don't I don't know, like we didn't use those. It wasn't practical to keep something like that around and not be able to use it for other stuff. A tech deck. This is supposed to be $2.97, but it was on sale for $1.97. A Monster Jam a little car thing. It was supposed to be $3.88. I got it for $2.88. A Beyblade. So I bought a bunch of these from the Five and Below website when they were on there. And then with shipping, um, so I, I would order, I could only order five per sh like thing that was shipped. So it would come to like six something, like somewhere around six fifty nine dollars um, per Beyblade. I don't know, I loved Beyblades as a kid. I think every kid should have one. I know it's a glorified spinning top, but they're just really fun. I, I don't know if there's still a show going. So like I, there was a show, I watched the original show that Beyblade made. And then as I was just getting over like watching it and like, being in the right age range, they were moving on to, like, another set of characters, so I don't know if they kept going from there. Lego Ninjago. Um, Legos are fun, and I know this movie is popular with kids today. It was supposed to be $9.97. I got it on sale for $5. He gets some crayons that I got at Back to School for $0.35, cents, and this little notepad. Um, it came in, like, a 24-pack, so it works out to, like, 11 or $0.12 cents or something. These themed little, like, playing cards, they were $2, Star Wars, Mandalorian, I know that's popular with the kids today, just like a fun stocking stuffer. Same with this, it's a slime-covered dinosaur from Jurassic World Dominion. Got it on sale for a dollar, it was supposed to be five. As I said before, he wanted a basketball, and um, I didn't have that, but I did have this Umbro soccer ball. I got it on sale for $5 closer to last Christmas. So, you know, I mean, close enough. It's a ball age 13 and up, but I mean, he's 12, so he's almost there. But I mean, even when I was younger, I used to use the older kid size, you know, sports ball stuff. That way you can grow with it. And, you know, it just makes, I don't know. To me, it just made more sense that, you know, he'll get the older kid size. Like, you know, he could be turning 13 like a month after he gets these presents or something. A backpack, this was on sale. I think it was around like the springtime, like, but like early spring when I got these backpacks. So this was five, like around $5. It was either like four something or $5. Um, just a simple backpack. He can, you know, I don't know if he needs it for school or like if he just wants to carry his toys in it or just needs like a day bag. And books. I loved reading as a kid. So, okay, so this Cirque de Freak one, this was at a thrift store, but it looked brand new. Um, 
it's book six in the series, but I don't, I don't think it matters. I used to read books and series and like, you know, it, it would be in the middle of the series. Oops. So I don't think it matters that this is book six in the series. You know, I used to pick up books and they'd be in the middle of the series and I didn't care. And then we have the Echo Park Castaways, which is about some foster kids. Theodore Boone, the Accomplice. This is, um, if it's not the latest book in the series, it's the second to latest. Something like that. It's like this kid detective. It, I think I would have liked it around, it, it says it's the eight, age 8 to 12 category. I think I would have liked reading it. You know, cool. That's a, I think, I could be wrong, I think the kid's around 12 years old too, or something like that. But like, he, you know, kid detective, sounds fun. And Trace is a ghost story, I believe. Yeah. Anyways, Trace is a ghost story set in New York City. The kid is living with his aunt now, and then he goes to the New York Public Library and there's a ghost. Okay, so I realized as I was talking about the books, so I mentioned the one Circuit de Freak book that I got, like that was from the thrift store. The other three books were from Book Outlet, so they were significantly cheaper. They were like two or three something instead of the full price of what the book is supposed to be. So, just to let you know. So everything's packed up. I actually got it in better than last time. As you can see, the thing's not sticking out anymore, so that's good. Um, overall, you know, I didn't get the kid everything on their wish list, but I still think it's a good bag. I mean, I, I would have liked this at 12. I mean, I would, I'm 29, and I think it's cool now. So um, if I lose my comments, this video will be posted on my social media links, and we can comment there. Um, my big recommendation for Angel Tree is shopping throughout the year for sale items um, and then matching them to the tag later. That way you can get items for cheaper and, you know, higher quality than if you had tried to get them, you know, right before the deadline. Because then, you know, um, you might not be able to buy as expensive stuff. So, anyways, see you guys next time.